Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another video on Abstract Thesis series. And in today's video, we will learn how can we generate the dates between a date range using Power Query. So let's jump onto the Power Query. And here, what I would like to do is I would like to create a new table first of all. So let me go to the home enter data and here, let me, so this could be anything. Let's say I have something known as EMP and then I have a start date, start date. It could be leave start date. It could be leave end date. And then I have an end date. So I have employee A, employee B employee C, let's say employee D and let's say I have a start date, let's say 1, 1, 20, 20. Then I have a start date, let's say 2 slash 1 slash 20, 20 and let me copy this. Now let me make this as 2, 5 and let me make it as let's say 3, 10, 20, 20. And then let's start it from 1. So let's end it at on 10, 2020. 20. And then let's copy this. Let's end it on 11. Let's end this also on 11. And let's end this on let's say 15th. And let's call it as data range. And instead of loading this data, let me go and say edit because that will give me directly Power Query, Power Query editor I reached and I have that. Now what I would like here is I would like to generate the dates between that and then I would like that to be get split. So for that, what I'm going to do is first, let me go here to the uh, add columns inside the Power Query option, add columns and I say custom column. And inside this custom column, let me say dates and let me say list dot dates. Now list dot date is going to give me dates and what I require for that is start date, which I already have here, which is start date. Now the second thing which it requires is basically count of days, which I don't have, but I can always subtract the end date minus the start date, but it is going to give me duration. Okay. So I don't need duration. And basically I need, I don't need duration. I need um, days. So there's a function duration dot days. And then I have this function, which give me duration and I need to do plus one because it's going to give me less than one. Now there's a third argument, how should we step up and we want to step up by our date. So we say hash duration and there is, uh, this functions take four argument. One is, first is day, which is one, then hour is zero, minute is zero and second is zero. So rest all we require is zero. So what I've done is for every row, I'm generating the list of date between start date and end date. So it's going to return me a list and let's see what it returns. I'm not going to do the next step. Let's see what happens if what it returns. So it's give me list of date. I can click here and I can get a list of dates. Okay. Okay. Now I got a list everywhere. Let's see how many dates I got. So I got 10 dates here. Here I got till 11. And sometimes if you have a really long list, then it may not return you all the elements, but we can go ahead and expand it and find out. Now, I am not going to write down another operation because what I'm going to do is there is an expand already because it's all list. Power BI is giving me the expand option. So I'm going to use that expand and I say expand to new rows. So you can see that, you know, these dates I'm getting. See, first to 10, I'm getting first to 10. 2 to 11, I'm getting 2 to 11. 5 to 11, I'm getting 5 to 11. 10 to 15, I'm getting 10 to 15. I'm getting all the dates. The data type is not correct. I click here and let me make it as date. Now it is date. It's all correct. So what we have done here is we went, created a formula 
in each row which generated the list of dates and then we expanded that so really very small solution if you want to have all the dates between certain set of date really small code in power query just one new column and then expanding that column so go ahead and try that out and do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you